This is part five of an introduction to the Arduino using the Eligu Most Complete Starter Kit. In this video we'll be concentrating on the ultrasonic sensor. Lesson 10 then is the ultrasonic sensor module. This module uses ultrasonic sound to find the range and to detect objects. So it's a type of, of sonar, or sound navigation and ranging. This is often miscalled uh, radar, but clearly it's not using radio, so it's not radar, it's sonar. Similar to that used by bats and dolphins to locate their prey and avoid obstacles. All that we need is the UNO itself and the module and a few wires. The sensor itself is good from two centimeters up to four meters. The further away that the object is, the larger that it needs to be to be detected. After say one or two meters, the minimum size really has to be half a meter square for it to detect it. As with bats, it sends out a, a signal and then measures the time for any reflection to come back and then works out using the speed of sound how far away the object is. And that we can see in the timing diagram. The device itself has a trigger and an echo pin. The trigger is a 10 microsecond pulse. The device then sends out a burst of ultrasonic sound and then echo pulse output is a pulse proportional to the distance. Very simple hookup here the echo pin going to D11 and the trigger pin going to D12 and that's pretty much how it will look. Note once again in the sketch that there is an include of a library SR04 which you need to import using the library zip as we showed in previous examples. Then we define the trigger and echo pins and then we have a long A. Here's a quick tip. If you're unsure as to what the meaning of any of the commands is, if you double click it and then right mouse click, you can find the reference in the manual. So you just click on that once you've clicked on the reference, it takes you to the reference file and it will describe the function to you and uh, give some examples. So that's a very useful tip. This sketch also introduces a new function that we haven't seen before, which is the serial monitor. In the void setup, it starts the serial monitor with a baud rate of 9600. That has a delay of 1000 in milliseconds. In the loop function, A is assigned to the distance, which is calculated within the SR04 library. The serial print then simply prints that value of the distance and then prints centimeters. Once again a one second delay it's going to print this value every second. We can see that now if we go to the tools and the serial monitor we're already set up to 9600 boards so just check that if you get some strange characters. Here we can see the output distance. We switch now to looking at the actual setup. Here obviously the Arduino and we can see the transmit pin flashing every second sending the values to the serial monitor and obviously our ultrasonic sensor. At the moment it's being triggered at just under a meter away which is my video recording light. If we now put a new target in the way we can see it at 17 centimeters. As I move the object closer Clearly the range decreases to 4 centimetres, 3 centimetres, and finally 2 centimetres. If we try and go any closer than that, then the thing just gets rather confused about life. So there we have it, the ultrasonic sensor. Now I've combined this experiment with the previous one by attaching the ultrasonic module to a servo. And that's what we saw at the beginning of this video, and that's what we're going out with as well. It's not within the scope of this video to describe how that works, so I've actually made a separate video that you can watch, and that will describe how to get the graphical representation on the PC. 